Hello and welcome guys, I'm Excessive Brutality and this is Excessive Gamer bringing you another thought And this time my thoughts are about my new present to myself this Christmas So, I've been such a bad boy Nobody thought of giving me any presents this year so I decided to get myself my present Cause I deserve Cause I've been working real hard at being an evil motherfucker So guys my present is to you, PSVR. Now, I know I'm a little bit of a late adopter to um, to PSVR tech, and the reason being because I normally I'm, a, I'm I'll be straight up the bat and I'll get it on on release date. But the reason why I didn't go for the PSVR this time on release date was simply due to uh, uh, the fact that I get motion sick like a motherfucker. So yeah. On this hard outer shell, this exterior, this motherfucking badass not a bitch. Inside radium, just a little bit of jello. What I'm saying is that I get really sick in cars, get sick on boats pretty much. I've been on a couple of cruises, always get sick on the second or third day. Don't know how, that's how it pans out. So I always thought, PSVR man, is that gonna fuck me up big time? Especially considering I'm not thinking about buying a PS, PS4 Pro anytime soon. Um, so... I thought maybe with the PS4 Pro the uh, frame rate is improved and uh, I am finding loads of issues with nausea especially in um, Valkyrie uh, as you say it over there in the States and any uh, kind of a cockpit game which apparently is supposed to be much easier than playing any other game because you've got a center uh, um, point of reference <clears throat> so having a point of reference such as a cockpit which is uh, kind of static uh, having everything else move around it kind of should make the experience a bit easier for those people who suffer from nausea or motion sickness But in my case that doesn't make any difference whatsoever I'm just saying that for anybody out there who is prone to motion sickness It's something that you might want to try before you spend 300 fucking quid on it and find out that you can hack it but Besides that it's fucking amazing uh, what I've, I've bought a, a shitload of games for it uh, uh, to be honest with you I just got a load of games for it uh, off the bat um, and there are certain games I can't play anything that's kind of static um, I think the PSVR is an amazing piece of tech and it really does uh, suck you into the, whatever world you're in at the point of a uh, it that it really does suck you in any game that you're playing you really feel part of the world and it's amazing and yes I do recommend having two PlayStation Move controllers especially for games such as Rush of Blood uh, definitely makes experience much more authentic um, so yeah uh, I just thought I'd mention that uh, getting sick is uh, something that's gonna happen to pretty much everyone I think on PSVR but anybody who's prone to obviously car sickness motion sickness needs to work really hard and getting good at this fucking thing Anyway, guys, quick word from my sponsor. Number one, online news source for gamers. Check it out at GamingLife.com. Live the life. The Gaming Life. I think. I think. Gaming Life. Check it out. Anyway, guys, I'm Excessive Brutality. This is Excessive Gamer. Just my thoughts on the PSVR. And I'm loving it. But my stomach ain't loving it so much. But I'm still sure I'm going to be loving the loads in the future. So get one if you got the money. And if you don't have the money, just watch my video. It's just as good. Thank you guys. See you soon.